Oh, wow. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking, guys. Wow, Liam, that's such a sick trim. Where did you get it done? I get my hair cut. At Ted Barber's in Nottingham. So, um, I've been going there for maybe a year, like, in a couple of months, like 14, 15 months, something like that. Um, and I've literally never walked out there and thought, oh, that's not, you know, you sometimes you get a botched haircut, never happened there. So Ted Barber's, I always have Alan or Awat, uh, but they've hired like two or three new people. And to be honest, the trims that they, I've seen them give, I could comfortably have anyone in there. So if you're in Nottingham, if you're a student, Ted's Barber's, Nottingham. For your trims, for your fresh fades. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJTV. As you can see, or as you can not really see, we're in the car, but we're in Nottingham today. I figured, there's a few things that I want to show you. I feel like training at the uni gym. I kind of like, I had the day off today, it's a Wednesday. I'm just like, I want to do something, you know? So I took the trip over to Nottingham, got a fresh trim. Figured I'd go and show you a few cool stuff. And yeah, just have, have, have fun with my day really. I've got some editing to do, so I'm going to go and sit in the old SU. It's going to be a good one. Drop the video a like if you're excited. Comment down below if you are new, subscribe. And that's it, let's go. Right. Okay, I need, I, I need to vlog, mate. Well, okay, I'm going to... Do you not want to say hello? They're not going to see my face, are they? Well, just, hang on, let me turn you up. My head. Scream hello. Hello, everyone, it's Charlotte. <laughs> Say what's up, guys? What's up, guys? It's Charlotte here. And close this video immediately because it will be shit. <laughs> oh, brutal. Right, okay, I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye, Right, let me. Okay, so, just getting changed. Heading into uh, City SU for a training session. The old uni gym in the city. A few of you will recognise this. Very few of you, I, I think. I think when I was at uni, I hit a thousand and we're, we're nearly. Nearly double that now, so, you know, that's not bad going. It'll be a new site to a fair few of you. I am going to have, for pre, my protein the way in the cola flavour, because it went down such a treat last time when me and Jake went to Temple. It was, um, well, I don't know why I was surprised. It tasted fantastic, and, uh, you know, like I say, this is much more of a an everyday pre in comparison to something like the plus. I have a really strong pre, maybe once or twice. And then a normal one, once or twice. Maybe once a week, I don't use one. I just have a monster or some pump product or something like that. Sometimes I have nothing. I just don't show it when I have nothing because there's nothing to show because I'm not having anything. I've got my straps today because it, well, wrist wraps because it's pool day and my wrist is feeling a bit tender, but um, I still want to be able to train pool. I, tra I actually meant to train it yesterday, but I trained legs instead because my wrist was a bit tender. Um, so yeah, just these for, for kind of precaution today, you know? looks massive because of the size of the freaking plates. It's 130. <laughs>
So that, that was one of the best and the worst sessions I've had in a long time, all in one go. <laughs> it was great, like really, really good to be back there training and stuff. I need to take this off, I'm gonna get too hot. It was great to be back there. You know, the, the equipment, the vibe, everything like that is it, very familiar to me. It's essentially where, that gym is essentially where I built my my real kind of foundation for training at uni. Um, I, lo I love being there, I love training there. You know, I used to go there a lot in my breaks at work and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, my God, it, it was rammed. It was so, so busy. I didn't have my gorilla pod, so I couldn't put that anywhere. I couldn't stand it up without a thing anywhere. I asked people to record me a couple of times, but no. Well, one, one thing I did realize though, <coughs> actually was this time around, since leaving university, it's been about 18 months now, right? I got a lot less funny looks talking to a camera in there, a lot less. And that just goes to show what is happening with this whole YouTube thing. It's becoming more familiar. People are a lot less judgmental, if you like. I used to get loads of funny, funny looks, people laughing, they thought I wouldn't see, but I was just there like, yeah, I'm I'm doing this and I'm gonna get good at it. <laughs> you know, we're slowly, slowly getting better at it and stuff, but there's a, there's a lot less kind of, what the fuck's this kid doing? Like, people just know. It's like, oh, he's got a camera, he's clearly got a YouTube channel, you know? Which is nice. Not that people laughing ever would have stopped me in the first place, because I would have stopped a long time ago if that was the case. Um, but you know, it's it's just nice to to actually see things changing for the better. You know, but hey, that is just in a, a kind of student environment. You know, a lot of students, a lot of you guys watching right now will be students, and so you, if you saw someone in the gym with a camera, you'd be like, oh, okay, cool, he's got a YouTube channel. Whereas I think a couple of years ago when I was at uni, and you know, I did it for a couple of years before that, people just <laughs> people just looked. Even though I had a smaller camera back then, people were like, what the hell is this guy doing with a camera? So. Uh, it's, it's a bit bizarre, to be honest, to see things changing like that, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. If you are a student and you're wanting to start a YouTube channel, freaking start it. You are in the, the most optimal position you will ever be in in your entire life to create as many videos as you possibly can. It might not seem like it because you've got your dissertations and you've got your assessments and all that kind of stuff. You've got to balance your work life with your social life. But if you are a student, you are you, ha you have the most spare time you will ever have again in your entire life. Once you graduate, you will never ever have that amount of spare time again. You'll be working, you'll be trying to balance whatever the hell you're doing with your family, with your friends, with work, all in, it's difficult. Like no one, no one likes being an adult really because it's more difficult. Being a student, you have a lot less responsibility. And so if you, if you have a dream, if you like, to, to be a YouTuber or have some sort of social media thing and you're a student start now don't even think twice I was actually having a conversation with someone on Instagram about this um, saying literally just start don't overthink it they basically asked for tips on like starting a channel I was like don't overthink it just upload just edit something and think yeah yeah that'll do upload boom do that again and again and again and again and then eventually over time your standard of that will do because you've kind of done as many as you possibly can your standard of that will do will rise. So the standard of your videos will rise, kind of naturally, right? You'll get quicker, you'll get better, you'll get more confident at like talking to a camera. I used to be shit at talking to a camera. You just kind of get used to it, to be honest. Especially in public, like I can quite happily wander around Market Square in Nottingham and talk to the camera. Like, I, I won't, because it's pissing it down with rain and it's pretty much already dark, so I'm going home. But you get the point, I could do that if I wanted to, you know, go to public gyms, I wouldn't have been able to do that a couple of years ago, but just practice. If it's what you want to do, if it's what you truly, truly want to do, practice, 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 practice. Upload, upload, upload. My old Instagram photos, crap. My old YouTube videos, the first like two to 300 of my videos, shit, really, really shit, right? Until the graduation series, I didn't really know what the hell I was doing with, with it. I was just sort of, like you say, saying, oh yeah, that's good, that'll do, and uploading. Whereas you eventually kind of develop your own style, develop what it is you want to do, perfect that. Once you figure that out, 
it will take some doing, it will take some practicing, I won't lie to you, but perfect that shit if it's what you really, really, really want to do. I would also recommend some sort of schedule as well because that has definitely helped me. Like I have sacrificed a lot to stick to my schedule, but I think that that is what's gonna pay off in the long run, having that schedule because it's made me upload. Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, every week for the last two and a half years, something like that. And we're only really just kind of picking up a little bit of steam, you know? That's how long it takes, but if it's what you really, really, really wanna do, stick with it and it will pay off in the long run. I have faith that it will pay off in the long run for myself. And if you are a student, get going because you can get ahead of time before it gets difficult to make more content when you're working and stuff. People are gonna listen to this and be like, oh, it can't be that hard. Like, you just chuck a few, a few clips together and it's like, well, yeah, that is what you do. That is editing, but finding the time to film it, finding the time to actually edit it is hard. <laughs> it's Wednesday and uh, people are heading out to, to ocean. You see the lads there? Must be uh, either Hawaiian shirt night or shit shirt night. It's Wednesday night here uh, in Nottingham, which is ocean bar crawl. I used to literally schedule a video for like seven o'clock on a Wednesday, because obviously Wednesday, Sunday. But then I would be answering like comments and stuff at Ocean Freeze and a, like a few of you, someone will be watching this right now and think, Liam's replied to me on a Wednesday night a couple of years ago. I've been either in Ocean or at Ocean Freeze and replying to these comments just to, you know, I, but that's the balance that I had. I had that, that opportunity, if you like, to, that freedom to literally just schedule an upload, go out and hope that the video did okay, you know? It's weird being back in there as well, back in the gym, because I used to always see, actually, I still saw a couple of people that I know. I assumed that they were first years when I left and now they're final years or something. Um, but I used to just see constant people, you're right, bro, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Interrupted workouts. Oh, do you mind holding the camera for me, mate? Like if I knew them or whatever. That didn't happen today. That did not happen today. The people that I know, they're a kind of, they've, they've been and gone, you know? My time is gone. And uh, someone that actually uh, commented, pretty sure it was Jason actually, um, commented a while ago, maybe coming up to a year ago now, when I was kind of really, really upset about finishing uni and all this kind of stuff, um, I wasn't ready to finish. And he commented and said, uh, I literally woke up one day and just didn't care. And I'm still waiting for that to happen, to be honest. I do still miss it, but then at the same time, I feel like I've just learned to to live with it. I've learned to adapt to my life and how I can get the most out of my situation right now. Um, and I think that's very important. But if you are a student, how you can make the most out of your situation, if social media is what you want to do, is just create, create, create. If you're really honest with yourself, you have a lot of spare time as a student. If you are really, really honest with yourself, unless you are doing some sort of doctor course, you know, or a, a, some sort of really heavily science-based course or something like that, like English, like Charlotte had, Charlotte had way more work than me at uni, way more work. So she had a lot, I had a lot more assessments, but the stuff that she had to do took a lot more time. She had to do a lot more reading, you know, because it's English, it makes sense. But even if she was honest with herself and vice versa, you know, we had a lot of spare time to do what we want. And if creating videos and creating content is what you want to do, then now is your time to do it. Go, go, go. Get started, don't overthink it, that'll do. Upload and thank me later. Let's go home and get some freaking food. See, that's what that's one thing that happens, right? I've gone there and I've kind of gone, oh, that, that, that workout was a bit naff, but I've come out and I feel great. I feel really, really good. It was nice to go back. It was really, really nice to go back. If I ever do that in a video, it's because the beats dropped and the cannons are going off, like at a festival, you know? Yeah. Ready? Ready? Hey, hey, hey! See? Yeah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What do you mean, look at that empty space? I, I don't know what's going to go in there. All right, everybody, so it's not quite dinner time yet, so I'm going to have a little bit of a, well, not really a snack, is it, or a meal, but I'm going to have a clear weight isolate shake. Um, on that note, my protein, 47% off. Um, today is the final day you will have a, dis a discount that large. It will go down to 40% as of Monday. So if you're watching this and it is still Sunday, get on it. I think it's live until either midnight or 9 a.m. So if you're watching this tomorrow morning, you might still be looking and be able to get 47% off. But yeah, though, if you miss out, don't worry. You can still get 40, which is boosted from the usual 30 as of Monday because it's Cyber Monday. But then after that, Tuesday, pff, gone back to the 35%. And yeah, so get on the bargains while you can. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, took something from it, maybe. I don't know. And uh, if not, then here's Jess to put a smile on your face regardless. Seriously, please note if you are a student and you want to do, you know, social media stuff, bear in mind what I've said on, on this video because, you know, I've, I've been there, done that, bought many a t-shirt of this whole social media game now. I've been doing it for a while. And um, yeah, it was definitely easiest at uni. So that is for sure. I hope you have enjoyed today's video, everybody. If you have, please do me a massive favor. Drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for tuning in. Together, we will grow. I'm gonna try and pump out as many videos as I can as per usual next week. Wednesday, Sunday is the schedule and I will see you as often in between as we can. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Say see you later, Jess. See you later, people. See you later, YouTube. Don't forget to like the video. See you in a bit. <laughs>